Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark Rath. I'm the president of the chamber. And on behalf of our chairman, Ed Stanton, and the board of directors, and all my past chairs represented in the room, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out for our new mayor in the state of the city. I love this town. I love living here. And I love to serve those around me. And I look forward to working with you. Thank you. I look forward to working alongside with you. Now, I've been told I can answer some questions from the crowd, which John, our city manager, is going to cringe if I give answers um, at times. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Yes. I appreciate the fire that you've got in the exhibit this morning, and I can hope you continue to do so. Hey, thank I you very much. That'll be the number one thing that'll help Chickasha go. Thank you. We need the leadership. It, it, we've got, I mean, the council, there, the council is a great council. I've worked with um, some other groups within the community. And, the, Ron, I tell you, there's, there's a group of people that have a desire for Chickasha to really exceed and excel. And um, with, with that group, I think we could touch all the facets of Chickasha to really push us forward. Um, the thing about it is, once we push on the accelerator, we can't let off. We got to really hammer it hard. Any other questions? All right. Yes. If you have any uh, current information on the bypass funding, you want to share that with the group? That. <laughs> <laughs> the question was about the bypass timing. Um, that I know that they are they are in town now um, appraising property to to acquire the property. John may know a little better timeline with that but it is coming um, which there, there are benefits to having it here for us especially with the the corner of uh fourth and choctaw and maybe city hall won't have pictures rattling off the wall anymore anything else all right yes we can't leave too soon here uh oh yeah we can is there any at city hall is there any assessment uh, going on with regard to the uh, potential impact of the uh, Amazon Fulfillment Center on uh, north of the river on I-44 and the impact that's going to have on our community. You know, um, we were passing that and my wife made the comment about it's so close to us that we are in an excellent opportunity to house people here um, because it is a short 25, 30 minute drive to that fulfillment center which if you're gonna live on the north side of Oklahoma City, you'll, you'll spend that much or double trying to get to it. So we are poised in a great position to offer that for people. It's just a short 75 mile an hour drive away. <laughs> well, that may be you. <laughs> yes, sir. Sought in the, in the uh, northern part of the United States for a town that obviously lost significant revenue, and then you you mentioned about a destination point for downtown Chickasha. Do you are you working with um, development entities, council, or things of that nature? Which, yet, which council? I couldn't hear you, Lynn. Pardon me, are you are you working with with those type of council or those with the experience to form a plan to begin to? Because that's a long-term plan. There's it no is. question about it. For one thing, we can either turn into a lake at certain seasons of the year or improve the infrastructure to drain water from that and then build back. But you mentioned, you know, Chickasha, I've been here about four years, and unequivocally it's probably the number one location in Oklahoma in spite of oil, that it's a great opportunity for a bedroom community if we can elevate, oh, like healthcare, we call it the serve, you know, the people. And uh, so is there a plan in place? Because it seems like when you were talking about that council from the, from the northern part of the United States, they just 
are ahead of us in that path a little bit, but it sounds like they're on the right path. They are. They, they start, like I said, they made that decision in 2008, and so here are, they're 10 years later, and they're really reaping the benefits. And, and so when I, when I was, after I finished talking to Mayor Long, um, I got on Google Earth, and I walked the streets of Wabash. And um, it was amazing what it looked like. I mean, it was a 100-year throwback where everything was brand new. Um, and so, but, you know, it took private and public money to get it done. He, and he told me the actual investment was about $30 million, what they put into it. And it shows. And they're downtown. You know, we're long, like a longer stretch of downtown. They're just more of a square. So it's like two or three streets each direction. Um, and they have a, a river right by their community, and that's where they've placed all the walking trails and such. And, and the, the trails and the biking system um, and the entertainment venues all came from juniors and seniors in high school. Because he asked them, you know, what are you looking for? He goes, I know you're going to, they don't have a college in their town. They're not lucky like we are to have a university. Um, and they're kind of isolated. He says, we know you're going to go away to school. And, and work elsewhere for a while. But when you make that decision to raise your family, we wanted to have you back in here, so what do you want? And so that's giving them time to start creating this. And so that's, I know whatever I do today and, and for the next couple of years or if I run again, really the fruits of the labor will be seen about eight or 10 years down the road. Um, but if we don't have that fo focus, if we try to focus on today getting it done immediately, it, it, it's not going to work very well, and we'll put the city in a bind, and you definitely don't want to do that. Um, as long as we keep you know, looking on the horizon, uh, we'll be able to obtain it. But the director that we've, that EDC has made an offer to, and he's agreed to, I've seen the signature on the contract, um, he is very strong in community development. And where he's coming from, they have done they have revitalized an area of their town uh, that is uh, amazing. Um, and then once um, we're able to release his name, uh, then we will uh, show that information with everybody. Yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, the University of Oklahoma, we're one of two communities in the, in the state of Oklahoma that we've been chosen. Uh, our main street has been chosen as their project, like a capstone project. And it's a, um, about a $100,000 study that we're going to pay about $7,500 for. And 2500 comes from, is it um, through the program? OK. And so they're going to master plan this downtown force. We've had some other drawings before. And, um, and this is where the ad living gets me in trouble. Um, years ago, I, I saw some plans and had like a sign that said, um, it's going to say, like, welcome to historic Chickasha. And I kind of scoffed at it. And then I happened to be in uh, another town in Arkansas, and they had that sign over their street, welcome to historic Conway. It's Conway, Arkansas. And I love going to old downtowns and looking at them. And the moment you crossed into it, it totally changed. It was a completely different environment. There was not a single franchise uh, business there. It was all privately owned, locally owned businesses. Um, they had, it's a town of about 50,000 people, so they're bigger than Chickasha, um, and, but they're right next to Little Rock. You know, they're 30 miles from Little Rock. They, they are ex that area is exploding. It is amazing what they've done, but that sign made all the difference in the world. And I said, it, for, so then I was upset with myself for laughing at it initially, then realizing, man, there is value to things like that. background with the whether it's philanthropy or oil money we are, we are in a, a exceptional position to allow these new oil companies to come through and not only build 800 miles of pipeline but fund 800 million dollars or whatever of development for Chickasha yeah one of the companies said over the lifetime um, and I'm assuming that's probably 20 years I'm not sure what time frame they plugged it in they thought they'd have about a billion dollars in sales then they provide that in the next two years in advance that'd be nice <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really good to have, um, you know. And and we've we've met with several companies, and I tell you what, they are wanting to be involved with our community. They want to help provide and and be good stewards and good neighbors. And of course, we want them to do it also. Uh, we just have to come up with a really precise plan so whatever dollar we get, we use it effectively. Okay. All right. Hey, thank you very much.